And much new information released today is providing some insight into the death of a man whose body was found in Lady Bird Lake. And KXAN's Jayla Washington has a look at his autopsy report. An autopsy report found Jonathan Honey, just 33 years old, had been in a bar just drinking with his friends, eventually left to find food, and 15 hours later, police found his body here on the lake near Rainy Street. Alcohol, amphetamine, and hydroxyzine all found in Jonathan Honey's system after police pulled his body from Lady Bird Lake in late March, according to this toxicology report. Yeah. Brandon Ching with Terrytown Pharmacy says one is a common ADHD medication. The other? For hydroxyzine, it usually isn't your first choice, your first line of defense for either itching or sleep or anxiety. Uh, it was something that just st struck me as strange because it's not the most common thing uh, that's used out there. The report says Honey, who did have a history of ADHD, died by accidentally drowning. Medical examiners say his body had no major injuries. Alcohol does all sorts of things with different medications. Specifically, what we would look at is the hydroxyzine when mixed with alcohol could lead to extra you know, sedation, being really tired. Sometimes it can even um, cause confusion or decrease someone's like cognitive ability. Now, of course, we did try to get in contact with Honey's family and no luck so far. But keep in mind, he is just one of at least five people to die out on the lake just this year. I'm reporting downtown Jayla Washington, KXAN News. Right now on KXAN.com, we have a map of all the bodies found in Lady Bird Lake over the last year with details on how they were found and how they're being investigated currently.